A legal expert sees red flags in an eviction battle that's brewing in Fort Lauderdale. A mobile home park sold its land, then ordered families who bought homes to move out in six months or less. The landlord insists everything is fair and legal. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is in Fort Lauderdale, where residents still cried foul. Justicia! Justicia! For justice, they sounded off through speakers in Northwest 68th Street. Justicia para todos! Pan American Estates mobile homeowners six months away from eviction, stunned by Monday's notice that landlords sold the land 239 families rent to park one week after Tanya Rodriguez and Guadencio Valle bought a new roof. We would have known that this was going to happen. We wouldn't have spent so much money, you know, trying to fix it up. Vanessa Diaz spent $30,000 for her mobile home three months ago. She, too, claims managers said nothing about selling the park. This, at the end of the day, means nothing. Thank you. Nothing at all. In a statement, the urban group said in part they're offering a generous incentive package, far exceeding statutory minimums to help residents in their relocation efforts, money coming from a state fund. But when it comes to the sale of this property, a legal expert sees red flags. And if it turns out that a number of your, uh, the people that you've spoken with had no idea of an impending sale and they can't make use of this major purchase almost immediately, uh, then obviously the prospect of, if not outright fraud, but potentially some underhanded dealings or just a failure to communicate sufficiently so that both the buyer and the seller are on the same page. Those are very serious possibilities. Christopher Marlowe is a former assistant state attorney now in private practice. Negligence is his specialty, and he worked a case against a mobile home park last year. The prospect for one party taking advantage over another is very high in these situations. He says developers count on residents not being able to afford lawyers, so he encouraged residents to get sales records from the state and see what disclosures the buyers and sellers made and when. If there's fraud, Marlowe sees potential for criminal charges. For now, Rodriguez is overwhelmed trying to find a new place. Few mobile home parks have have room or will allow her family to bring their trailer and rents are higher than her budget. Honestly, I feel like we're all getting in depression mode. So they plan to make more noise with neighbors. Hoping things change. In Fort Lauderdale, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.